lovelies, welcome back to Onyx Food Hill. I'm so glad to have you all again. And I guess you all are doing great. In today's video, I'm gonna be making Swedish meatballs. These easy homemade Swedish meatballs are the most delicious, rich, soft, and flavorful delights that everyone loves in my house. They melt easily in your mouth and I hope you will love to see how I create this. So let's get started. In a medium sized bowl, combine a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs, half cup of whole milk. Mix and leave that to rest for 8 minutes. That way the crumbs will soak up the milk and turn out soft and easy to blend with the rest of the ingredients. After that, bring in 500 grams of ground beef and 500 grams of ground pork, half cup of salted onions, and one large clove of grated garlic. Also, crack in one large egg to the same bowl. The egg serves as a binder, preventing the meat from separating. You will also need to season this for a richer taste. In that case, add in 2 teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, a quarter teaspoon each of ground allspice and nutmeg, half teaspoon each of black pepper and salt, and finally, 2 tablespoons of chopped parsley. Mix this thoroughly with your clean hand until well combined. You don't have to over mix this just until the ingredients are well incorporated. When done, scoop about one inch of the mixture using an ice cream scoop. Then roll into about 15 to 20 medium balls. This should depend on the size you want or on the quantity of ground meat you are working on. If it gets sticky, you can dip your hand in water or oil. Shape and arrange all the bowls in the tray and set them aside. Set a large skillet over medium heat, add 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil and 1 tablespoon of unsalted butter. Once heated, Add half of the rolled meatballs to the oil and fry. Make sure to gently turn the balls continuously until they are all browned on every side. This should take about 5 to 7 minutes for the meatballs to get ready. Once the balls have cooked through, transfer to a dish and cover with a foil. Add oil to the skillet as needed and repeat with the rest of the meatballs. Using the same pan with all of these amazing drippings, it's time to make the roux. So add 3 tablespoons of butter and allow to melt. Then mix in 3 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Season this with a quarter teaspoon each of ground allspice and nutmeg. Continue mixing the flour until it's no longer lumpy and the raw flavor is all gone. Gradually stir in two and a half cups of beef broth while stirring this continuously and making sure the flour is completely dissolved in the liquid. Leave this to simmer on medium heat for 2 to 3 minutes until slightly thickened. Reduce heat to low and stir in 1 cup of sour cream. When the sour cream has completely dissolved and velvety creamy, season with 1 teaspoon of Dijon mustard, 2 teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, and a little bit of black pepper and salt. Then stir to incorporate nicely. You can then return the fried meatballs into the sauce. Once done, stir it gently and coat the surface of the meatballs with some of the delicious sauce. Cook this for a couple of minutes and then garnish with some chopped parsley. And here you 
go, friends. Your delicious Swedish meatballs are ready. The secret to making these amazing Swedish meatballs is the addition of allspice and nutmeg. Worcestershire sauce and Dijon mustard also help to balance the taste, making the meatballs really unique in flavor. I love to enjoy this with boiled rice. How do you like yours? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I hope you would like to try out these Swedish delights in the comfort of your home. Thanks so much guys for watching. If you like this video, remember to give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye!